class is structural engineering class, so it's going to be uh, based off of uh, construction phases, residential construction, um, electrical, plumbing. They're going to get into some woodworking projects. Like we've got some, uh, last year we did some patio furniture. Okay. Um, the more experience you get, the better you get at doing things. Oftentimes with these electrical units that these guys are working on, is the more and more they have to rewire the same thing, maybe they'll get it right. <laughs> so when it actually works, at, when they need to do something at home, why uh, it works properly and it's safe. <laughs> but uh, these, this class will be getting into, we're going to finish off the year doing three different units at once. It'll look like chaos in here. <laughs> we're going to have uh, welding going on, a woodworking projects, and then they're going to be making these plumbing okay. uh, boards okay. all at the same time. Uh, and the best way to do that is to utilize the resources that you have. If I only have five welding booths, it's only sure, five kids sure. that can weld. So. Of these 16 kids, uh, five can be welding, and then you know you could have uh, five, another five doing the plumbing, and another six doing woodworking. So, Do, uh, um, what type of things attracts kids to this type of class? Do you like want to career-wise go into some of these trades, or uh, people who are interested in learning more about home, stuff around home? Sometimes I think it's a lot about the career okay. career-based, which is. Uh, you know what the goal is is for them to get sure. interested in a trade sure. um, and be able to take that beyond the high school walls here uh, I can't teach everything about every single particular you know field that there is out there but I can get them interested so they know that where the right direction is to go for you know if they want to get certification outside of school or uh, do a two-year or four-year uh, program to get more, uh, I guess, to pad their resume. I know that there's a lot of jobs out there dealing with uh, the crafts, the trades that are really in high demand right now, even sure. straight out of high school, kids that are willing to take the training and work at the same time. You, you can teach the safety, the basics, sure. the science behind welding, the science behind electricity. Uh, in my I have a small engines class. You can teach the science behind what makes a engine do the things that it does. Sure, sure. Uh, from the classroom, um, you can do all those types of things. But uh, you know, really through, you give a couple demonstrations and you let them learn hands on. That's the best way of, of sure. being able. That's how I learned how to do everything that that I've done. Electric, uh, electrical, plumbing, woodworking. You know, you name it. It's um, and things that the only way that the best way for the kids to attain it is for them to do it themselves. How do you think changing technology has changed how things are taught in schools? I think it's great because they have YouTube has demonstration pictures and models and walkthrough step throughs. This wire goes with what that and uh, you know in our school we're very lucky that the kids all have. Uh, laptops okay. so I can share uh, diagrams manuals of of what these should look like uh, what the plans are uh, and you know they don't have to actually go off of blueprints or uh, or out of some of the old three ring binders that yes I still have <laughs> in a cabinet <laughs> and we still do utilize those because there's a lot of good information that you can get from um, but, you know, just the, the use computer technology has really opened the doors to sure. doing a lot of these things.